If that person repents within those six hours, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have that angel write down that sin, but instead Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a good deed written for Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu, and on this channel, we post reaction videos. And I'm sure you guys have seen that we post a lot of things. And for the people that are new, you're welcome. Feel free to suggest not just the new people, even the old people. Feel free to continue suggesting things or giving us titles to what us to what you want us to react to so other than these things give us anything that you find interesting and we'll actually look into it we also have a second youtube channel called funny and jesse 2.0 on that on that channel we post vlogs weekly vlogs so you guys can just head there and just check out the content and enjoy what's there if you want to see something there or if you have a question concerning to something on that channel comment on the on any of the videos below and will probably respond back a big shout out to everyone that's been su subscribing suggesting things for us to do commenting um watching you guys are the best from forgetting anyone just remember you guys are the best and thank you for being with us so far and we've got a podcast we've got uh, you can find us on social media and so many things i mean you guys can just check our description box and you'll find the links to everything that i'm saying there and yeah i just hope you guys are doing all right may you stay blessed may you be safe and may you just be happy so as you can tell from the title today i'll be reacting to when you sin allah tells the angel to hold on big shout out to the person that suggested this for very very Grateful and so without wasting time, let's get into the video. I love you, Allah. In that moment where you're just about to commit that sin, where you've been tempted, where you have made up your mind that you're going to do it, and you've been struck by the whisper of shaitan, and just as you're about to commit that sin, you wake up. Okay, so those are the people that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, تَذَكَّرُوا فَإِذَا هُمْ مُبْصِرُونَ That after they've been touched by the whisper of the devil, they wake up and then suddenly they can see. They're completely, uh, you know, tuned out of that sin and they're turning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in repentance. That's the best case scenario that you were about to commit the sin and then you stopped. Where the Prophet Sallallahu said, إِذَا ذُكِرْتُمْ بِاللَّهِ فَانْتَهُ That when you're about to commit a sin, if you're reminded of Allah, don't Ignore your conscience. Don't ignore your taqwa. Don't ignore those thoughts about God. Stop right then and there. Don't say, all right, well, I'm already halfway through the sin or I'm already, I'm already at the point of committing it. I might as well commit it and then worry about repentance later. Stop yourself then. But what about when a person just commits the sin and you commit that sin, especially the first time you commit that sin before you've become desensitized to it, you feel so dirty, you feel impure, you feel a great sense of remorse and regret. And what you do in those moments is going to decide whether that sin becomes a means of bringing you back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or that sin becomes a habit that takes you down the path of shaitan perpetually. That's where the Prophet sallallahu talks about a very unique way that we interact with these angels that are on our right and our left. وَإِنَّ عَلَيْكُمْ لَحَافِظِينَ Kiram and Katibin, you have these noble angels that are recording on your right and on your left everything that you do, anything that you say, anything that you do. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has commanded them to write. And there is not a single word, مَا يَلْفِظُ مِنْ قَوْلٍ إِلَّا لَدَيْهِ رَقِيبٌ عَتِيدٌ Not a single word that you utter, not a single expression that you utter, except that those angels write it down readily. Now, as those angels write down, they have a sense when you're about to commit a good deed or you're about to commit a sin. Because as Sufyan rahimahullah said that when a person is about to commit a good deed, they emit, the soul emits the scent of musk, this beautiful scent. And when you're about to commit a sin, the soul emits a nasty stench. And so there's a sense that a sin is coming. But then after you commit that good deed or that sin, and those angels write down everything, there's one exception. 
And that is what the Prophet ﷺ said, that when a person first commits a sin, Allah commands the angel on the left to hold his pen for six hours. Now, six hours here, an hour not being 60 minutes, but six periods of time. There's a, a time where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, hold off. And if that person repents within those six hours, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala does not have that angel write down that sin, but instead Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has a good deed written for you instead. If a person goes forth and commits that sin, the Prophet ﷺ said, one sin is written down. Now to speak to that for a moment, you know, if you're thinking about that angel that's on your left side that's being told to withhold their pen and not to write it down, we know that the Prophet ﷺ said, even if the sin was written down, the one who repents from a sin is like one who never committed sin in the first place. That good deeds wipe out sins. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has always left the door of repentance open to you. But in this unique situation where the angel is told not even to document the sin, what is the effect of that? The Prophet ﷺ said that a sin is written down as one sin if a person actually commits it. But a good deed at the minimum is written at 10 good deeds up to 700, up to whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees it. So from the mercy of your Lord, if you turn back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immediately after committing a sin, and this isn't a person that intended to commit a sin and say, I'm going to repent within six hours, so I'll be okay, so it's not going to get there. It's someone who, you know, fell into it and, and woke up right away and said, I can't believe I did that. Astaghfirullah, I turned back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. On your records, not only will you not have the sin ever recorded, but you'll have the good deed of istighfar, the good deed of seeking forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala recorded, which is at minimum 10 times up to 700 times up to whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decrees. And so that's the mercy of your Lord, that even as these two are recording on your right and your left at all times, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala shows leniency through the one on the left and says, hold your pen, see if my servant will turn back to me. See if he'll wake up in the midst of that moment. See if my servant will decide that this is not something I ever want to do again. See if this will be the means by which my servant turns back to me. And verily, a sin that brings a person back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is better than a good deed that takes him away. Ah, uh, very interesting. I always, I think for now in my videos I've, I've been seen singing that if you repent then things are different. Otherwise, this was a very amazing video and there's ways in which you can do with situations. Sometimes we know we're about to sin and we control ourselves. And a big shout out to anyone that can control themselves and change their mind about sinning. There are those people that will control the urge to sin and there's those people that will just fall into sinning without even thinking twice. For those that can control themselves, a big shout out to you and for those that can't, it's not the one it's not the end of the world. I mean there are some people after committing a sin, they feel guilty. Once you feel guilty you tend to go out and ask for forgiveness. That's if you don't stray away or hide away from God because you know God is a merciful God and He's going to forgive you. But then if you if you commit that sin again, then perhaps your will to resist is quite low. And even so, even if you do it the second time, you can still ask for forgiveness. But the thing is that people that repeat the same sin all over again the first time you do it, you felt guilty. The second time you felt guilty. The third time, the guilt was low. By the time you're doing it for the tenth time, you're not even feeling guilty at all. Meaning you're straying from from God's teachings. Meaning you're straying away from God. But even if you've committed it ten times, you can still come back to your uh, senses. Otherwise, at the end of the day, if you can control yourself, good. If you can still remember God after your sin, Good, because that should, should put fear in you, not that you should fear, but 
that should put fear in you and at least lead you to God. Otherwise, you end up losing yourself for a basic sin that doesn't last a lifetime or won't do anything from you or benefit you in 10 years from now, 2 years from now or even 30 minutes later. Otherwise, this was very, very interesting. Whatever the situation, whatever the sin, always tend to God and just try to practice uh, staying away from certain sins or doing them. Let me know what you guys think about um, this video and a big shout out to the person that suggested this. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.